Let's talk some toys in here. <laughs> hey, what's going on everybody? Today is the man child. Okay, so today for review. I'm finally going to get a chance to go over the Master Universe, Masterverse, Revolution, Sorceress, Tila figure. Part of the Wave 14 series. Yeah, I had her for a while. I just haven't gotten to her. Now I am. I gotta say, though, what a really incredible looking Sorceress Teal figure. It's neat that she comes with the uh, new snake armor, like a Cobra Snake staff. Uh, she also comes with some of these um, snake energy effects. I think one of them, energy effects, which is, I didn't expect that, but it does show it on the back of the box. So it's cool she gets one of those. And if you get two of these figures, you can get two of them. And yeah, I like the green tone in the skin, too. Um, she's not translucent. You know, like, sort of like the Green Goddess was, kind of what she reminds me of, or I guess that's what they were going for in a Revolution cartoon, but not exactly the Green Goddess, same story as Green Goddess, that's what we get. Beside that, I'm really excited to finally get to her. And here's a quick look at the photos on the back of the box. So yeah, we just have a main photo of the teal Sorceress Teela herself, um, holding her staff, and you can see one of those spirit or snake ghost energy effects, right, she's holding on an arm. Again, that's a cool accessory, I wish she came with two of them. But it's awesome they added that. And once again, going over to the right side. So you can put it on either arm. There it is again, one of them. Looks like she also has a new skirt piece. It looks like a snake tail. And then, of course, she comes with that Cobra Snake Staff. And here's a quick look at Teal's bio. You want to pause and read that. And dropping down to the very bottom, these are all four figures. Part of the Wave 14 Masterverse series. And here's some additional art on the right-hand side of the box. Looking at it from the window of Sorcerer's Teal herself. And of course, there's the other piece of art on the left-hand side of the box. You can see the three different staffs going back to that scene in the Revolution cartoon where they merged and they helped transform Teal into the Teal of Sorcerers, from what I remember. Right, and this is kind of a continuation from the art on the front, again, of Sorcerer's Teal. You can see her little snake tail piece hanging off and everything going on. Here is a quick look around with Sorcerer's Teal and all her accessories at a package. Okay, so taking a closer look at Teela's uh, face and head sculpt. We'll call her Snake Teela for now. Um, Snake Teela's head sculpt. Yeah, really beautiful. I love, again, I love this greenish color they have over the whole body. Of course, on the face. Um, sculpting, obviously. I love the just the paint side of the eyes now. Looks like they're yellowish. And then, of course, the pupils. You have different layers of paint in there. You have these little fang paint. I guess we're supposed to represent some kind of cobra fangs with painted up on the face. You can see that. Um, now, the interesting part is obviously this snake um, cobra hood, right? Now, what I already noticed is I think it's I think the head is pegged and glued onto this. I was hoping this piece would pop right off, right? We'll check it out in a second. We'll take a closer look at it. But I think it's all one piece with the head. Anyway, so taking a closer look at that as far as the hood itself i mean yeah, excellent detail right big cobra head you can see just the different levels of paint even the two eyes have red paint in them you have a couple fangs that are sculpted hanging off the hood and that are soft rubber that's pretty cool right you can see all the details of the um main part of the hood itself and if you flip around it's the back so it's a big black piece that goes all the way down to the back of the shoulder blade there center of the back rather i mean just look at the side of it so as far as the articulation with this and her head, let's see, okay, so she can look all the way left, look right, she can, okay, look all the way down, and can only go back about that far, because it's going to get hindered by this, so this piece is obviously really soft, Does that doesn't bother anything, now, again, going back to the main part of the hood, and the head, so I'm gonna, let's remove it off the body for a second, now, these Masterverse female, they make me really nervous with these um, neck you know, the neck pieces. See, even now, it looks like it has a little crack in it already. You got to be very careful with these. Very weak. All right, so, of course, taking a closer look at this hood and you had a whole head off the body. So, see what I mean? If you look inside there, it looks like... So, the head is a separate piece, right? It looks like there's another hood over the main head itself. It goes all the way around, around the back because I can see it inside there, right? So, it's plugged in. And then the hood is a separate piece. But, let me see something here. Yeah, see, if I pull this, I'm trying to pull the... So, this is rubber soft, obviously, just like the lower piece. But trying to pull this apart, it will come off, but it's it's snapped onto a peg and it's glued. So, mine's not coming off easy. It, it is removable. But once you remove this snake piece, then 
yeah, there's another hood over the head. And if you remove that, I don't know what it's going to just have a big peg cut in the head or what it's going to look like. Um, but the idea is if we want to remove this and use it on the other Masterverse Tila figure, that was kind of my idea later on, or a Classics or something like that, if you have one. But I don't think we're going to be able to without customization. So this right now on my figure doesn't normally come off from what I can see without breaking. Let me see. How about if I... Yeah, it's pegged and glued on mine. And even if you did, see again, there's a big cut going back to this of that, the second hood that goes on his head that has to take up space for this hood. So if you re were to remove this head out of here and the hood's going to remove with it, and you just want the snake armor, the snake piece, the snake hood. I don't know if a regular head's going to fit near what you would have to do to modify it. Anyway, for the most part, mine is pegged and glued on without customization or breaking us apart. Doesn't look like it's meant to come off easy. So once again, putting this hooded head back on the body, I want to bring in the 2.0 second release Tila right from the Masterverse um, real quick because I want to see, I'm curious if it's the same face sculpt or head rather they use for this figure just paint it green with the extra paint in the eyes and stuff like that. I don't know how important that is. See, again, I want to try to switch this piece over on her later on, but we're not going to be able to do it. I don't want to break this apart. I try to do it off camera. Yeah, mine's really glued in, on there pretty good. Let's see, is it the same face and head sculpt? Um, very possible. Looks like it might be. You know, if you take away this hair piece, the hair, of course, and the green paint, it, yeah, I, I think it is. They might have just used the same face and head. I think anyway. Okay, so once again, focusing on Snake Tila, right? Let's finish up the articulation, rest of her body statics. Um, so yeah, aside the snake armor, we can pull it up out of the way. So, taking a look at her um, ab area, torso, the buck. So, yeah, you can see she just has some type of bikini-type skirt uh, armor sculpted on. And the main parts of the chest. Now, this, these cross straps up, and it, these are painted. But this is all sculpted, all this stuff. It's different than the main body. Um, yeah, all painted black, as you can see. And if you flip it around, just right, continues all the way around to the back part. So, it's the main part of her armor. She also has a secondary piece that goes in the lower part of the ab. It's also, is that sculpted? Yeah, it's also a different sculpt. Or it comes out beyond the main uh, body, the back piece here. Again, painted in black. She has these cross straps, right? I said they go down, connect to this lower belt. Uh, as far as the articulation, so she has that ab crunch cut, right? Spin at the ab. Go all the way down and back, all the way back like so. Um... Moving over to the arms. So, yeah, she has some scaly armor on the shoulder, on the arms, on the main shoulders. It's the same on the um, right right and left side. And then when you go down to the main arm, it looks like some type of just cosmetic sleeve or something that goes, that covers the this armor, I guess. She has some extra painting in here. I don't know if they're, I don't know what they're supposed to be, like little plates or something, maybe, over the main armor the sleeves. Are they sculpted or no? I feel like you're just painted. So as far as your articulation with the arm, go up, right, down, all the way out, down, go forward or back. She has that bicep cut. Again, it's going to be separate from the shoulder armor pieces. <clears throat> the piece there can bend all the way up at the elbow like so to the face. All right, straighten the arm out. Um, and then the other arms are all the same as far as the armor design, right? Just scaly yeah, plate and a sleeve and these little extra plating details that are painted, right? Um, and then she comes with two closed uh, weapon hands, semi-open hands. So they can spin, they go in and out on hinge joints. And it's cool, they got the nails painted red, you can see that, right? And then they have a little extra, just like a um, little guard on the outer part of the hand. It's also a separate sculpt, painted black. It extends all the way to the bottom. Again, both sides are exactly the same. Um, so they're moving down to the waist. So we already talked about, she has this, um, all right. So these lace pieces, right. Connect to this belt. Um, that's a pretty cool design, something different. Then you have this gold, these, um, medallions that are sculpted and painted gold. So these are actually a separate, you can see that they stand out, you know, it's like a sculpt that's, I think they're, are they par? Are they glued on? Hmm. Kind of hard to tell. Looks like it could be a separate piece and glued all the way around, maybe. Or they sculpt it outwards. No, I think maybe they're just part of sculpt and paint it. Um, 
and flipping her around. So now she has this newer, yes, snake tail skirt piece that comes off this main belt. And uh, there's the back there, and it's all... Okay, so it's pushed up inside here, and I'm assuming glued to this piece. If you wanted to remove this, or this main belt. I don't know if... Is this part of... Let me see here. Is that a separate piece? I think that's a... No, that's not even a, like a regular loincloth. That's not something you're going to heat up and remove off the figure. It's like just part of that um, waist, the pelvis piece. And it's just pushed up and glued from what I can see. Anyway, it, um, pretty long. It looks like a snake tail, as I already mentioned. But it also reminds me of, it could be a piece of snake skin. You know, so maybe that's when she, yeah, off the snake men. Took some snake skin. That's what she made it out of. All right, that's pretty cool. And you can see the designs in the back. And then, yeah, underneath is just plain. Um... Yeah, and going down to the legs, so just typical female aesthetic legs, green obviously. As far as her articulation, go all the way out with a split. She, uh, she can kick forward. She has a thigh cut, right? Um, go all the way back, bend at the knee. Her legs are all the same, and she has this, obviously not a boot, but you also have a cut here where you can spin the ankle back and forth. And then you go down to the feet. Now look at mine. Mine are all messed up. I wonder why. Oh, I see. It's wrong. Okay. And yeah, it's just has bare feet. Toes are painted black. Has these little ankle guards or anklets, you know, on the both sides. These are also sculpted to the legs, painted. You got this little black blade piece that, yes, yeah, it's on top of the foot. Again, exactly the same on both sides. And then the foot can go, let me see if mine work. Okay, here it goes. Go up and down and rock side to side. That's, uh, that's about it. It's so a moving forward with Snake Teela's. Weapons and accessories. So, yeah, she comes with a spare pair of spell casting hands or open hands with the finger somewhat pointing a little bit. See that? All right, so you get a pair of those. Again, they're exactly the same as the first pair as far as the little um, extra piece that's sculpted on top and the bottom. And they have the origin style pegs and they can go up and down. So, for next accessories, she gets this really cool looking Cobra staff. Look at that. That's completely new. Um, Awesome detail. Wow. So is this, is this spin? No, it's just soft. I thought it just spun on top, but look at the details in that. Right? So you got the back, the front, even has the little eyes painted. The mouth is sculpted open. You got fangs. Right? Silver in the very front part, and then the outer part of the uh, main Cobra hood is steel's all gold. That's pretty cool. And there's the main staff. It does have like a little curve to it. You can see that. Right? That's normal. And then for her final accessory, she comes with that ghost, uh, yeah, snake energy effect, which is really cool. Again, I wish she came with two of these, or you could buy two figures and equip her with two if you wanted to. Um, but look at that. I love effects like that. Translucent, monstrous, or weapons. Pretty cool. The overall energy tail. Pretty soft and coiled, so it can wrap around her arm. You can see where the hand's going to go inside and hold it. Now, I don't think it matters if you use the open or closed hand. It's going to stick with the semi-closed hands for now because I think they're most effective. Yeah, even the uh, two eyes are painted yellow, right? You got the mouth. <laughs> it doesn't articulate, but soft enough to move up and down. You can see the fangs. It's very green, obviously, and translucent. That's awesome. All right, so once again, taking a look at Sorceress Teela, or Snake Teela, as I'm going to call her. Let's uh, start setting her up with her weapons and accessories, or at least the accessories. So I'm just going to put the Cobra Staff in hand. Let's put it in right hand for now. She'll hold it like that. And the other thing, too, is I just discovered, just noticed, that she does have those pelvic drop joints. You can see that. And they're really tight in this figure. These are coming around with the females. All the newer males have them. Sometimes I forget to mention them. They came in the last few waves in the Masterverse figures. But she has them as well. I noticed it's pretty cool. And then lastly, let's put this snake energy effect in hand. So yeah, it's going to wrap around the arm like so. Again, I'm just going to leave the closed hand on. Just push it up inside there. I don't see nowhere to grip it. Don't maybe had a grip in there or something, or if the, oh, you put the open hand on a push through to hold it. I don't see nothing like that. So he's going to hold it like this. Position it, I guess. And yeah, it's kind of weird. It's like, because she kind of holds it and she doesn't. She can hold it upwards or I guess point it. All right, there you go. You can hold it like that if you wanted to. Again, it's something you got to mess around with. And here's a quick look with Sorcerer's Tail all set up. And that's about it. So all she really comes with. And again, you want to put this snake. Uh, this ghost snake energy effect on the other arm you can. It's going to wrap around the same way. And the staff in the other hand. I just want to make sure. I don't think I don't think it matters. Just coil it how you want. Yeah, just you push this hand in like so. So you wrap around this arm. She'll hold it or you can put it up in the air. 
So it works out all the same. If you got two of them again, you can put one on each arm. So moving on to some comparisons and mixing and matching the parts. There is no parts to mix and match. And it's the only comparison I can think to come up with, right? So I already brought in the uh, 2.0 Teela. Um, again, that face sculpt and the head looks very similar to that. In that, because I think basically they used that face for, yeah, all of them. That's what I can see. So this was the first release, Sorceress Teela. Because she had a couple different forms. This was the second one. And I think towards the end of that show when them three staffs merged, and I think about it, she already had this form. I'm sorry. And she turned into another teal at the end, which we didn't... I'm assuming we're going to get a figure for that one, too. That's what it was. Um, yeah, aside that, there's not a lot you can do with her. I mean, really cool. It's unique. And, of course, they gave her that green color. And in the show, I remember... I think Prince Adam asked, asked her, why are you green? And I don't think she answered it. So, again, I guess it's paying homage, going back to the green goddess sort of thing. But they never explained it. It is cool, so it kind of reminds me of... I like that snake armor piece. But again, it doesn't... does not. It, does, it, it is a separate piece, but it's not going to normally come off unless you break it away from the head and you break the head out of the armor like I, you know, I mentioned. And I looked at it earlier off camera. That's what you have to do. And if you were to do that, I mean, I would like to try it on this teal. You know, just make a traditional um, Masterverse teal with the snake armor on. That's all. You can use a classics one on her. I think I tried that when I reviewed her. I think I had one laying around. Which worked okay, but it wouldn't be cool to remove this one. And you can, but once you do that, you're going to damage your figure. The snake effect is really cool. I like that. Again, I wish she came with two because she had there was like two or three of them floating around in the show. Put one on each arm. You can always buy two figures for two. Not that I want to do that. This uh, Cobra Staff is really neat. I love the design and colors on that. Um, yeah, very basic. You know, this piece is cool too, but again, it's not something you're going to remove. This uh, whole, you know, this waist piece, belt. Um, it's its own thing. It's not going to, I don't know why you would re want to remove it, but that's pretty much it. That's all you're getting. You know, just another Sorcerer's Tail variant with some odds and ends in mind. Yeah, I'm having a lot of problem with joints here, but ah, it is what it is. So I that, it's cool to have her. You know, she came out well, and that's all you're going to really do with her. So once again, I appreciate everybody watching. Until next time, take care.